Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. Together we are K&K &K Crochet. Welcome back to our channel. I was thinking about this morning about how that we batch record and we're probably going to do more of that coming forward, uh, going forward, more of them on the same weeks to try and get caught up on things and move forward. And so, and I thought, well, we do it because, um, you know, we do everything at one time and it's easier. But I also thought about the fact we do it because otherwise you'd see just me a lot of times and I don't want to do that because the channel's about both of us together. And I want us to be here together and sharing it. It makes it more fun. So that's why we do this thing. So anyway, um, I've been working on a project that you haven't seen because I just started it this week. And I finished it this week. So I'm going to give you that end. We'll just go up. I can't go any farther because I'm too short. But that is it. That's a C to C um, cross baby blanket. And this is for my cousin's little girl um she's about to have a baby next month i think and so the border is double crochet and then the other part is c to c and so i'm gonna talk about how this came to be um i've done a project like this before a long time ago with a pattern that was not c to c and it was a lot <laughs> um and i can't find that pattern um, it's in a book that I no longer have. So what I have to do is I had to come up with it on my own. And we had a conversation the other day in um, a live that we had about doing a graph cam like this. And what about if you couldn't find what you wanted? And so I knew I wanted to do this. And I'd had this in mind for a while. I, that wasn't the colors I was going to do, but when I went through my stash, that's what I decided to do. I've actually, the, the blanket I made in the other pattern before was pretty much the same color. Instead of white, it might have been cream. I can't remember. But anyway, um, so I knew I wanted to do it, but I knew I also didn't have the pattern any longer. So I was going to have to create the graph gam, which, you know, you look at it and think, well, it's very simple lines. It's not that big a deal. And it really isn't that big a deal. But sometimes it can be intimidating, and for me, it's not intimidating. It was just knowing that I had to sit down and sketch it out. And usually what I would do is I would grab graph paper at the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, or whatever, you, Dollar General. You get this big, thick thing of graph paper, and I would just sketch out my cross and then expand the border around it to as big as I wanted it. And I just create my own. And that's easier for me because then I can track it and mark it off as I go. But I wanted to find out what things were available on the web for others who didn't know how to do that, didn't want to do that, or just what's available. So as I went through and was searching through um, some of the things that are available through apps, I found some things I thought you all might be interested in. So I'm going to tell you about a few here and there. Then I'm also going to tell you um, about what I did to make this without using graph paper. So... The first app I found by accident that has nothing to do with this, and I'll tell you about it, is called um, Amigurumi Today. And I have an iPhone, so that was available on my iPhone for an app, and it's free. Um, it may have a paid portion, I don't know, but I think some of the patterns are paid, kind of like Etsy, but these, but I, there were a bunch of free patterns on there. And I haven't showed it to you. I sh you need to go look that up because you probably find a bunch of things that you like to do. Okay. Lots of really cute little um, dolls and animals that were amigurumi. <laughs> now, they were done with um, smaller hooks and small yarn. But you can always translate that into something bigger just by using a bigger yarn and the correct hook for that for amigurumi. And I know usually they say size down one hook from whatever your yarn recommends on the label. Um... I found that out last week from something I did. The pattern said one size, and it should have been a size smaller because it left holes. But anyway, you can work with it. There were lots of free patterns on there. It's called Amigurumi Today. Lots of really cute little dolls and Christmas things and things that I just think you guys would enjoy. So go check that out. And, of course, there are some that were paid for, too, paid for patterns. So just be careful as you're looking through and make sure you know what you're doing. But I did um, realize that there are lots of creators who have created apps where they share their patterns for free or they share some for free and ask you to pay for others. So I'd never thought about using apps as a way to look for patterns before. I've looked on lots of other things, Pinterest and Google and Ravelry and Etsy and all those things, YouTube, but never an app. So now we know we can use apps too. So in the meantime, I found an app called Knitting Chart. And yes, I know it says Knitting Chart, but I used it for crochet, and it works just fine. 
um, what they have. They have a pro version that's $19.99. I did not pay that. They also have a free version. So I use the free version. And there's a place on there where you can bring up a chart. And then you can use your hand. First of all, you tell them what the dimensions are supposed to be. How many blocks by how many blocks. And what I tried to use is um, approximately that one corner to corner block would be about an inch. And it's probably not quite an inch. Let me look real quick. Oh, gosh. So by the time you finish and actually attach it, it's more like seven eighths of an inch or something like that, but that's okay. So I estimated, guesstimated that each block would be about an inch. So, and I knew that I wanted my blanket to be a certain size. So I put in like 36 by 36, but then, because that would have been, you know, three foot by three foot. But when I actually did the um, work with the program, somehow it shrunk the width to 27 blocks. And I don't know how that happened other than to say that there is a portion on there where you can go through and hit a button and it like freezes your work and saves it. And then there, it you un freeze it and it, you know, unsaves it or whatever. And somewhere along the way, that does make it um, very easy for the dimensions to switch. And I was trying to manipulate it. And as I manipulated it, I guess I changed the size. And I didn't realize that Todd started crocheting, but that's fine. It still worked out. So you go in and it gives you all the blocks and you can actually pick a color and then you just take your finger and dot out the blocks that you want there to be color in. And if you mess up, you hit the eraser and you erase it out. And the good thing is you can actually draw with your finger. Like if you've got a whole block of lines you want to do, you just take your hand down like this or you can use it like a coloring thing and just color in like that. And it was wonderful to use. I used it. I don't have a printer where I could print it out. Um, you can save it as a PDF if you pay for the $19.99 Pro, which it's a one-time fee, $19.99, and then you can use it forever. You can save it as a PDF, and then you could print it out. I don't have a printer, so I was going to do that. If it had been a more intricate project, I would have bought the graph paper. That's one reason I didn't do the graph paper. I didn't have any on hand, and I would have graphed it out so that I could count as I went. But instead, I just used my phone and looked through and counted as I went, and it was a very simple pattern because I've done a lot of graph GANs. I kind of knew you know, how things were going to flow. And I basically only had to figure out where to pick up the white and where to drop the white because everything else I kind of knew. If I figured out where the white began, I could look at this pattern and see how many blocks I had to do to make it work because I knew my cross was going to be five across and that the endings were uh, five out and the top was five at five up and that everything else in between needed filled in. So once it was easy for me to do that. But you can do this and follow along. And it actually, I think, even has a row counter on there where you can click off which rows you've done. And I didn't use that because I didn't need it. I could see easily. If I had a more intricate pattern, I would have used that. So anyway, knitting chart. That, check that app out and check out Amigurumi today. One thing I will caution you on, um, I've seen a lot of things about um, reviews and things like that over the last few weeks across the board, across everything. Um, Amazon, Etsy, all that stuff. There are reviews for these apps. You can go in and if you just look right below where it says about the app, you'll see how many stars it has. I would caution, number one, to look for where the app originates from um, because then you're also going to find some there in languages that you can't understand and I did find that. After I had uh, downloaded one, I had to delete it. You're also maybe going to find some that may not be anything that you really want to use and you also have to be careful that it's an app that is legitimate and that is what you need it for so just be careful and watch for those stars I would say stick with the ones that have five stars or close to it and start there and use those apps so what about you have you ever used an app for anything I know in our um, live about a week or so ago we talked about stitch fiddle and I had never heard of that it's not an app but it's a website and I had gone and tried to use that last time, and it came up with a huge graph, which I couldn't, it wanted to print out like seven or eight pages for me to use. And of course, I don't have a printer. I needed something that was condensed down. So let us know, have you used any apps for your crocheting or knitting or whatever you're doing? And if so, what they are, tell us down below and what you use them for. And let us know what you think about using apps to help you keep track of things or to figure out your patterns. Have you used apps for yours? No. No. I think it's a neat idea. Yep. I think it's interesting. I think I'm going to look into it a little more. Yeah. 
So we will have another video at some point that you're going to see either before or after this that talks about some other resources that we found. And this has been a year for learning for us. And I think that's going to continue that we're going to continue to grow and learn and share things with you that make life easier for your crochet or knitting or whatever you're doing. We hope you have a blessed week. We hope that you will have a good weekend or a week or weekday or whatever it is, whenever you're watching and that you're resting and enjoying your time with your family. And um, don't forget to be kind because you don't know anybody else's journey. Have a great week. Bye. We love you. Bye.